Go on one. He's done. Fish. Yep. Go on one. Yep. Big one. Big one. One second. We're back guys. We're doing a lot of videos. I'm on vacation right now. And uh, I'm out here finally chasing some muskies. It's the water is 77 degrees. It's finally dropped a little bit below 80, so it's safe to chase them. I'm not too worried. We still gotta uh, practice safe fish handling and uh, keep the fish in the water as long as possible. But uh, we're here at the dam spot that I'm normally fishing. It's been a while. Usually this time of year, the fish are really starting to position up on the rock shelves here. And uh, we got a little gravy run going down river that we're gonna hit a couple spots and try as well. So. Hoping to see some big fish. I've talked to a couple buddies that have been uh, on a couple of the spots that we're going to and there's been some big fish being seen. So now that the weather has cooled down and the water's cooled down, I know the fish are eating. Um, I'm hoping we can get into some. I'm with Will. Say hello, Willis. Hey guys. Guys, Will just got his eyes done. He can see them now. So watch out. <laughs> we can both see them. We're going to get on them. We're almost set up here. We're uh, spot locked right in front of our spot that we're gonna start. And hopefully it won't be too long. See you guys soon. I'm gonna stay on the tip of this point for a second. Just try a couple different baits. Cause I know like there's fish around us within like casting distance for sure i think this is like this is normally where we see and catch fish if we don't catch we'll usually catch on the top end of that hump and in between this hump and the hump that those guys are sitting on is good too Oh, Medusa! He's right here. He's right here. Yeah, baby! I stubbed my toe and broke my nail so bad. You see that broken nail? But I got one. Cool, yes, I thought it was snagged. Wound. Busted. I don't even know when I kicked. I just flew going backwards because he was coming. The 40. Ouch. My toe. Yeah, nice mid 30. It's pretty chunky. It, I had to go deep. I put a Medusa on and 39. Uh, 38 and three quarters. Almost 39. Great fish though. We'll get him back and uh, hopefully get another big one. He's up. Old watcher. She gave a kick, but she's still on the surface. Oh yeah. Number one. Sick. Sick. Is right here. That was brand new Medusa. <laughs> she got shredded. Dude, the attack on this, let me tell you. Oh. Dude, you think you're snagged and it wasn't even a big one. <laughs> That was awesome. That was friggin' awesome. They sink about a foot a second, so you can kind of count it down. 
Like if you know the boat's sitting in 15, as long as you count on that side, I cast on that side of the boat, you can count to at least 10 seconds before you start reeling, you know? Oh, one. Yeah. Get ready, he's coming. <clears throat> I like the Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it like a double twitch. I like let it sink a lot further down this time. Okay. And I usually just let it rise, fall, rise, fall. That time it did like a rise, rise. He had it right when I did that. Oh, fuck. A little smaller than the first one, but hey, some musky. Hey, so, not uh, probably five minutes after the first, we got a nice little second. Probably 35, maybe 34. This one we won't measure him. He's pretty beat up and pretty angry, so we'll try to get him back right away. On the Medusa again. It's important when you have current like this too, guys. Keep their head into the current. You don't want their head going this way and the water forced into the back of their gills. This way they can breathe a lot better. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I lost an eye. It's like, it's brand new. <laughs> So that's two in like five minutes, guys. Um, when we passed the first time, we were throwing topwaters and blades and we had seen a fish like, kind of like porpoise just on the surface. I don't know if they're getting air or what they're doing when they're doing that in the mornings. Uh, drop a comment below if anybody thinks they have a theory on what the fish are actually doing when they're just like coming up and porpoising at the surface. But yeah, we saw that big one and then uh, we got to the top of the hump and I thought maybe I'd fish a little bit deeper and uh, decided to throw a Medusa first fish came maybe like 10 casts after putting it on and then I we let that fish go it was 38 and three quarter inch and then not even like five casts later I did like a little double pop on the way up and that one smoked it crazy aggressive strikes on those medusas man it's like you feel like you're snagged until you feel the head shake but uh, yeah we've only been fishing an hour and a half or so and two fish so we were kind of wondering at first when we weren't catching anything but then uh, we got up to a little bit of a money spot here and we got two, so. I'm gonna get back to fishing. I busted up my toe real bad on that first fish. But I'm gonna get back at it and try to get another one. No follows today, just two attacks. I like that. I'm gonna fish a Medusa, the whole thing. The whole thing. You put that? Yeah. What the f I have two like this and you put them both. Dude, that's the worst fish care ever. Like, oh, he's fish. Yeah. Big one. Big one. One sec. I'm coming, wait, don't try to net him. Right okay. Okay, get ready. They're getting bigger. Every fish, he's got a little snub nose too. We'll get a quick measurement. Oh yeah, 44 and a half. Oh, yeah. 
So that's her 44 and a half, third one of the day. All our fish came on Medusa's, a black and orange, deeper, 15 feet of water. We'll get this one back. So there we go. Number three, haven't even changed spots. We're still in our first spot. We did one pass around it. The back side's usually a little worse than the front side. We didn't see anything. Actually, we haven't seen any of the fish. All three fish, we haven't seen a follow yet. They came deep. But uh, we're gonna get back at it and maybe catch another one before we go to our next spot. That fish came in like probably close to 20 feet of water. Oh yeah. Yeah, like I was very close to the bottom. How deep are we here? 23, I'm just gonna start fishing. Oh, there's a muskie right there. Dude, right under the surface. He's right there, he's following it. Got him! Dude, that was the crazy ever! I saw him, it wasn't even like, my lure was still way out there, he was just swimming beside the boat. I reeled in super fast, figure eight and he went right after it. Get out of here, Bowie. That was awesome. That was so sick. I don't know. I just saw him like swimming this way. So my lure my lure was like out here, so I reeled it in real fast. I saw him taking off and I started figure eighting. He turned right around, followed it maybe a tur two turns, mm -hmm. and then ate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the hooks are out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the quickest nut jump I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe what was happening. I hit my toe again. Doesn't feel nice. <laughs> cool. Well, just switched to our second spot. Number four, a little one. It was crazy how it happened. I my rod was like way out, my line was way out there and I was reeling up and I happened to look beside the boat and he was just like swimming under the surface. So I reeled in real quick, started figure eighting. Right away he started chasing it and he hit it on a, like the second or third turn. Little one, but get this one back quick, quick. There we go, number four. The Medusas are killing it. I tried a white one and I got two casts with it and my line backlashed and went into oblivion and sunk before we could get there, so. Oh! No, maybe I can get it. Maybe the line's still sitting on the surface. I don't know if that color would have worked, but the black, white, and orange, it's getting the job done. See you guys soon. We're gonna get back to casting. and they seem to be biting like crazy, so. They like uh, the Medusa. He like, he didn't even question it. He was like, that's food, I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. That was one of the craziest eats I've ever seen. I was just saying, oh, I wanna get a figure eight fish. He like followed it into the first turn, and then around, and then followed it, and here I started like jumping it. Oh, he did not like that. That's when he was like, I'm charging it and I'm eating it right now. Oh, musky. These are great lures to work uh, over weed drops too. Like if you have 10 feet of water on a drop, weeds come up seven feet, and you only have like three feet of space. You work it just like we're working the rocks. As soon as it hits the water, 
you, you start with a slow retrieve because you're not going to get snagged. But as soon as you feel a weed, you give a big jerk to get it above the... Oh, there's a fish. He just tried to eat it when I gave it the big jerk. Oh, I thought I had him, but I snagged my lure. Dude, it's a giant. Give him slack, give him slack, give him slack. Bring him here, bring him here. He's, he's got a good. Give him, open your bail, open your bail. Oh, he's taking drag, he's taking drag. Where's my rod, okay? Right here. Dude, what a hectic battle. That's a big one. Can I just step on it? Yep. I'm in the trolling motor. That's a, I think it's 50, dude. Will's 51, like last cast of the day. Will's finally PB, got finally got his PB, 50 inch club, buddy. Let's slip her back, we have took a while to get her unhooked. And... That's a big one. Yeah, nice Dude, he one. couldn't go in the net. Yeah. Just the angle with the current, like he wouldn't go in. Like he kept getting hooked. Okay, we're done. Yep, let's go home. Let's go home. <laughs> That's it, we're done. After Will's fish, we left. He's happy. He got a 50. <laughs> he tried all last year and only got a couple small ones in this year. I was like, it's your year this year, man. It's gonna happen. His first day, 50 incher. He didn't see a fish all day. And then he had, that fish come in and uh, right at the boat, like he watched it like engulf his lure. The whole shallow invader was gone. You happy, Will? Very happy. He's happy. So we're gonna pack up the boat and uh, it's just time to go. I'm going home. It was a morning fish, it's starting to get hot. Water uh, said this morning was uh, 77 degrees and we left it at 79, so it's time to go. Give the fish a break. I hope, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. It was a hell of a morning on the water. Uh, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, videos every week, guys. I got two videos coming this week, so uh, stay tuned.